Well, everyone is jittery right now about copycat attacks. So when an axe-wielding man went after some New York City police officers yesterday, there were immediate questions about his motivation. Jackson Prosco has the story. Chilling surveillance video shows the attacker charging at a group of four NYPD officers with a hatchet. Out of view, he struck a rookie officer on the head, cut another on the arm before being shot dead. It took just seven seconds. The guy pulled out an axe. It was just chaos. And I ran as soon as I saw that. In the chaos, an innocent bystander was shot in the back. She and an officer remain in critical but stable condition. It's been a, a tough 24 hours in New York City. Investigators paint a disturbingly familiar picture of the suspect, 32-year-old Zale Thompson. A recent convert to Islam, described as a recluse and depressed. A Facebook page bearing Thompson's name includes a picture of an Islamic warrior. We have this time believed that he acted alone, that uh, uh, we would describe him as a, a self-radicalized. We would describe him as inspired. Police say the suspect had been reading up on the attack on Canada's parliament and visiting websites of various terrorist groups, including ISIS. Looking at... Um, different acts of violence, including uh, beheadings, uh, attacks, the shooting in Canada. Police going so far as to say the intent may have been an act of terrorism, though they don't believe the suspect had any formal ties to known groups. Already wary of an attack, the NYPD had issued a patrol bulletin to officers telling them to be on alert, not just for threats in the city, but for threats to their own safety. They uh, always walk in pairs. We are certainly encouraged that they maintain vigilance also around any of our police facilities. U.S. officials are very concerned about the potential for more so-called lone wolf attacks on men and women in uniform. The Pentagon has instructed all U.S. military personnel in Canada not to wear their uniforms outside of their posts, echoing the advice given to Canadian soldiers at home. Donna? Jackson Prosco in Washington, thanks.